Today I'm going to do this look which I use a couple of products from Fashion Edit that they sent me. It's a fairly budget friendly look and I think it's wearable. If you didn't like the colour you could just leave out the green underneath and continue with the browns. But anyway, so I did have my, oh and I did have my hair in rolls at the start of this because I just wanted to give my hair a bit of volume. So please ignore that if you can. First of all I put on my foundation. I haven't done my bronzer yet. I also used this Face of Australia Illuminator which I got the other week. And I've been using it just as a highlight, fine, no problems. And then today, I saw that it said that you could apply with your entire face and either alone or under makeup, so I just wanted to see how it'd go. Um, I just used the smallest amount and I looked like a glowworm, so I've patted my face down quite a bit, but I'll add in some bronzer later. Okay, so first, oh, and I also use Lancome Eyeshadow Helper on my eyes. I'm going to start with my brows first. It's usually something that I do first, and then I do my eyes. So I'm using the BYS Blonde Brow Liner. I've used this quite a bit. I found that it's quite soft, so you get a really good colour payoff, but when you sharpen it can break, so I've just been putting it in the fridge for, say, 10 minutes before I sharpen it. I've been trying to grow out my brows for so long, but I just think it's not going to happen. So most of the time I use a pencil and a bit of powder. Now the next product is the Eye Studio Natural Impact Glamour Browns. Really been enjoying this. One thing that's really good about these is good for travel, except there's no matte shade, which is my only concern with it, but I have plenty, so not really that big of a deal. So I'm going to apply the shade 1 all over my lid and then my brow bone. So on the lid, Just sweep the rest on my brow bone. Making sure I'm getting the inner corners here. Another thing, oh, my eyes will be red, I have a lovely cold. Next I'm going to get shade number two on the lid. Third colour on the outer. So this is just a basic way of doing your eyeshadow, really. It's the lighter, darker, darker again, and then darkest through the crease and lash line. Nothing groundbreaking here. <laughs> really really like this palette though, and I've been using it quite a lot since it arrived, which is a bit strange for me because I'm not really a neutral person. Okay, so I'm just going to get a blending brush and soften the edges. Number four, on that blending brush, and just push a bit of it into the crease. And blend it. Not too much, just enough for definition. Now with that number four shade, I'm going to use it as a liner on the top line. Next thing I'm going to use is this BYS liner in J. One of those twisty ones. So I'm basically just putting it on my waterline and underneath. All the way across. On the waterline it's actually quite soft. Quite pretty. It's 
just um, check the white as well. I'm just going to add some of the green underneath on top of that line. I'm just going to use a pointy pencil brush. Thinking about it, a angled brush probably would have been a smarter choice, but well. Oh. Now I'm just putting this on my bottom line, I'm not putting this into my waterline. I'm just going to get a touch of one of the blues from the palette and put it on the inner section here. I'm going to apply these lashes. I'll show you what they look like in the box. They're kind of swooped and kind of fluttery. I have the ones that I'm using, same as them, it's just another pair. I'm cut about the machine. I cut a bit off the end because I find that when they slip out too far, if they're too long it can drag your eyes down and I've already got a cold and not feeling the best so I want to lift my eyes up. <laughs> not that I ever really want to drag my eyes down but especially not today. While I'm waiting for the lashes to get tacky from the glue, I'm just going to curl my lashes with my manicure lash curler. I have a couple of these. I always have one in my bathroom upstairs, and one in my makeup bag, and then one in this room as well. Don't know why. Don't know what I think would happen if I ever ran out of lash curlers, but. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lip brush and apply a little bit of OCC trick on the lip, because I find that. That one, it, by the way, the colours. Never ending pearl. I don't know what I was thinking when I picked it up. I just think that it's a bit too shimmery. With the lashes, you, you can see the lash look at the moment, but you basically want them in between the root of the lashes and the skin, so as close to the lash line as possible. Otherwise, you can get this weird gap thing happening between your lashes and the falsies, which is not a good look. Little mascara disobey for my face. A touch of Il Masco Tremble on the cheeks, but just there. So I took my hair down. As you can see, I just put it in for a bit of body and movement and not for curls. The kick it side, head wig brush, I don't know. I like it. It's one of those bent brushes and it's small, which is good for when you're wearing falsies because you just want to blend your lashes into the falsies. Now if you're having too much problems with the lash line with the lashes you can add a, a very fine line of black liner. But because these have a clear band, it's not so much a problem. And that's my look. So today I used the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad Natural Impact in Glamour Browns. I used the highlight on the lid and the brow bone. Then I went in with the second colour on the lid. Third colour was outer and bit into the crease and then the fourth colour which is the darkest one I ran, it along my I ran it along my top lash line and then slightly into the crease on my bottom lash line I used the jade pencil from BYS which is one of those automatic windy ones then I went over the 
entire bottom line with the green and then on the inner I put some of that blue. These don't have names or anything. And then I applied the BYS Lash Envy Lashes. On my lips I have Maybelline Superstay 24 hour colour in Never Ending Pearl but I didn't quite like the way it looked so I added a touch of Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Trick. I think it's Trick, it's worn off a bit. Yeah, so that's my look today. Um, I'll put the links to the products and everything in the down bar and then I will also have a blog post where I'll have some more pictures if I can get some of this Hollywood light. It's so overcast because it's been raining on and off all day. And yeah, so see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.